Hey guys, HCG Chica. I am checking in for the last few days. I um, After my 0.6 gain, I, I had a goose egg. Then I was down 0.4 yesterday to 130 even. And then today I was down 0.8 to 129.2. Um, so now in 19 VLCD days, I've lost 14 pounds and 10.5 pounds of fat. Um, I'm now at 27.6% body fat, and I started at 32.1, so that's that's about 4.5% um, less than when I started um, in less than three weeks. So that's pretty exciting. Um, my ketones have been at 80. I recently added in Miracle Noodles again because I've just been um, just wanting to have more in my tummy. So... Um, the Miracle Noodles, um, I wanted to kind of clarify for a few people. Some people wonder, even though they say they don't have any carbs and calories, they wonder if they have starch because sometimes the ingredients on it might say yam noodle or something. But um, keep in mind that most of those labels are translated from Chinese, and oftentimes the translations are not accurate the way that they're, you know, translated. So um, it really is a Chinese root that has no starch. Um in a form that we digest. It's it's soluble fiber. Those noodles are only fiber. Our body does not use them as calories at all. It's, it's just fiber. So there's no way that it can actually affect your weight loss in any way. Um, now some people sometimes say, well, I gained when I had them or I didn't lose. But the thing is, it's just, all it is is like, um, the weight of the miracle noodles and whatever water they absorbed and it's still sitting in your intestinal tract it has nothing to do with actual fat loss so keep that in mind um, and as an example that's what happened the day the first day I had the miracle noodles and I had the goose egg the next day but I was down a half pound of body fat so it's just just try to keep that in mind when you, you eat a larger volume of fiber like that and fiber you know pulls water in and so it's just that's all it is. It's just the noodles and the water sitting in your in your intestines. <laughs> so as soon as that's gone, it's going to be more obvious that you've lost weight and it, it won't imp affect that at all. So anyway, it's been really, really wonderful. I've just been having it once a day. Um, I've been doing this just little sauteed uh, shrimp thing with some canned tomatoes that don't have any added sugars. And I heat that up until the shrimp is cooked with a little garlic powder and salt. And some water just to kind of make it kind of soupy and then I ha add the noodles and it's just like this really really yummy soupy type thing very very good and it makes me really full actually really really full so um that's nice um I am down to 35.5 pounds of body fat and I started at 46 so I've lost 10.4 to 10.5 pounds of body fat um out of the 14 and like I said in another vlog, I know that you know at least a couple pounds is water that I lost. So that means that I've only lost maybe a pound and a half of lean mass, which is amazing, amazing for how much weight I've lost. So that's exciting. Um, and to be 129.2 means I'm finally, finally into new territory because I did get to 129.6 my last round. Um, so I've been trying to get back there. And the cool thing is, even though this round I started out at a higher body fat percent because of like laying around the last couple months, um, like for instance, last round I started um, at 149.2 with 46.5 pounds of body fat. But this round I started at 143 with 46 pounds of body fat. So I weighed like over 6 pounds less, but I had almost as much body fat as as you know six pounds higher so um but even though I started out like that I'm actually ending I'm ending about where I was which means I caught up at least like I I got more fit you know by laying around and doing HCG because I ended at 129.6 with 35 pounds of body fat and right now I have 35.5 so it's like I, I totally caught up, which is like so cool. <laughs> so anyway, um, I guess that's mostly all I wanted to share. I'm going to try to hang in there until I get to the mid 120s if possible, just because last round I did end up stabilizing close to two pounds above LDW. It'd be fun to be out of those 130s for good. It would sure be fun. So anyway, it's kind of quiet around here in the HCG community. I feel like it's kind of a ghost town. <laughs> Feels like everybody's switching over to Biomedic. So, um, and you know, there's some definitely interesting things about it. You know, I've read a lot of positive things, but I've also read a lot of scary things. And, you know, 
Um, HCG, I uh, researched for several months before doing it, and I think actually watching all the YouTube vlogs of people doing it and being successful and still like feeling well a year later um, was kind of what proved to me that HCG was a healthy diet. Um, so with this biomedic thing, it's kind of new, the combination of the ECA stacking and the fasting intermittently. And um, so I'm just a little more leery of it. I mean, it certainly would be cool. People are definitely losing a lot of weight. Um, but I just I just wish maybe there was more people using the body fat monitor like I do so that I could see that they were actually losing fat. Um, it does sound like the ephedra does prevent uh, muscle loss, which is good. But I know that there's some people doing it without without that. And, um, you know, I'm sure after you do something for a period of days, probably your body switches over to ketosis and starts burning fat. But I have done a couple fast days before and I lost weight, but I never lost fat on those days. But like I said, I only did it like one day, you know, like one day. So, you know, and I know you lose water the first day or, or whatever usually. So, you know, I can't really make a judgment on that. I just don't know enough yet about it. Um, you know, if, if it really was a good thing, it would be cool to maybe try that just for the last five or 10 pounds, um, just for fun. Um, so I don't know. And I also kind of wondered if anyone had ever thought of using the ECA stacking with HCG, just with the regular HCG diet. I don't know if it would make you lose more or not. So anyway, it's interesting, but I do feel kind of lonely out here. It feels like, yeah, mostly people are switching over the, to that or not vlogging or something. So um, anyway, but you know, HCG has been really good to me. I have lost so much actual fat and I, I have proof of that. No one can ever tell me that this diet doesn't make you lose fat because <laughs> I have the proof. <laughs> so um, that's pretty neat. Um, I probably will continue to do some more research on the whole intermittent fasting and ECA stacking thing. I have read some fairly scary things with the ECA stacking, um, the ephedra. Just, um, just, you know, people saying, you know, if you have any heart problems and like one person had like some 23 year old person had a heart attack and died and you know I doesn't say how much they were taking so maybe it was too much um but it is a little scarier because I haven't really heard of people dying from HCG <laughs> so um or overdosing on it or anything so it is a little scary it does seem like one of those things that may be safe but probably would be best done under a doctor's care or at least getting all of your basic health tests done and stuff um and I haven't really been to the doctor in a while, and so it makes me a little nervous just since I take thyroid medicine, and I, I see that um, ephedra affects your T3 and increases it, and I already take quite a bit of T3, so, and I know when I take too much because my heartbeat starts going higher, um, so I'm just not sure if it would be a good thing for me or not, and I'm really sensitive to caffeine too, so, um, but, you know, since I don't have a lot of pounds left to lose, I mean, it sure would be fun to lose 10 pounds in five days. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, it's just kind of interesting. So, but I miss everybody out there. I'm missing 002 and, well, I know Miss HCG Girl's done, so she's not going to vlog often. And she did actually make an update recently. But I just feel like a lot of the people that I originally started with are either not vlogging or they're done or taking a break or something. So I miss you guys. But anyway, um, that's my update. Talk to you later.